I know my family be watching my channel, so I'm gonna give y'all five seconds to just scurry along, jump out the conversation, and say nothing to do with y'all. Just go. What a freak! You have to love me. You don't even have to like me, but you will respect me. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a sex talk, sex questions, ask questions, and I'm gonna give my opinion, answer them, and we're gonna get into it like this. At the beginning, rated R. So, let's just jump into it. Let's have a sex talk, huh? What position do I think I conceived in? So, um, to answer that question. I like you riding the stick. I like you riding the stick. Why do men have to hype up the girls to get some fly head? I don't know. What do you mean, sir? What do you mean? But, <laughs> I will say that if a girl really, really likes you, she's gonna go in. She's gonna do it all. She's gonna just put it out there. Unless she's just not that type of girl. She's not like a freaky girl. Tell her what you like because like I said, I'm not a mind reader, so I know she not. We can't read heads, either of them. Now, if you're talking about girls who are just like, oh no, I don't know, I don't do that. No, I'm sorry. Then that's just not the girl you need to be trying to convince to do it. Maybe if you find you a real gutter butt freak, <laughs> somebody who wants to do it somebody who you don't have to hype up then you might have the pro those problems but it's it's a lot of girls that are like no i don't give head i i would never give head those are not the girls you need to be messing with because you can't convince them to do something they don't want to do so get you the next freak of the week because she ain't it next question so this is one of my favorite questions because it's like <sighs> i can answer it from experience so which positions are overrated and underrated so, an overrated position is overrated, overrated. <laughs> I like them all. <laughs> I feel like missionary. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I feel like everybody likes that position and they just, I can look into your eyes. Somebody on Twitter said it was underrated. It ain't for me. Like, let's turn me around and get to the nitty gritty of it. But I feel like missionary is overrated because it just, it gives me boring. It gives me plain Jane. Like, it gives me... I don't know but that's the most overrated one like i feel like you can look you can look into my eyes like this an underrated position which is my favorite to get it cracking get it popping is a reverse cowgirl yeah um i know i'm 23 like i shouldn't be acting like this talking about sex but like i i'm usually not this open but anyway um reverse cowgirl is underrated because you can get a good grip of their ankles. As you get into it, when they're like, you know, really at a 10, that's when you lean forward by the feet, massage the feet a little bit, just a little piece. You don't gotta, not, not too much, not extra. There's, we're not, we ain't doing all that. Massage the feet a little bit, right? Then you mwah, nibble on the foot. Mwah, mwah, blah, 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 blah. Just a little bit like that. Okay, so this was a really good question because men really don't have anything that they wear in the bedroom. But I like some silky, nice boxers. Like, ooh, even a nice robe. But men don't do that. Like, yes, I'm coming out my baby daddy's neck. Like, come to the bed with them nasty plaid boxers on or them ethical boxers that you think is so cute because they're ethical. No, baby. I want you in something silk. Silky. Okay? Um, But yeah, I feel like Something like that. Have you ever came to the bedroom with a nice robe on and just brah, naked? Men don't think about stuff like that. Like, why do us girls gotta get lingerie, get our hair, get our hair done, get our nails done, make sure the nails and the toes match, and you come in the bedroom with them checkered boxers on? Tuh. It's role playing necessary. Role playing is absolutely necessary. Now, unless you're in one of those let's get a quickie off moods, then that's fine but like if you're really trying to have a good long session and there's no role playing all these men want wops but don't want to put the work in to get a wop and that's the problem there like yes kiss massage my back rub me down um, <laughs> like you know kiss my neck nibble on my ear like things like that like I feel like if if a big red flag for me is if I'm trying to hook up with a guy and he's not into role playing. Like, okay, you all for self, and I don't like it. 
We take your time, we role playing, we kissing, we hugging, we canoodling. It's gonna last all night. Rounds on, rounds on, rounds. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> next question. Okay, so giving and receiving head. Once I hear that you don't do that at this big age, I'm on some new shit, I'm chucking my deuces, uh -huh. I'm moving the homes with some new dick, new dick, new dick. No more trying to make it work. Like, I feel like every girl has met a man who's like, oh, I don't do that, I don't do that. Oh, I ain't getting on my knees, blah, blah, blah. So we don't have to have the conversation. But men are like, oh, they don't do that. And then expect a the girl to do it for them. My thing is, don't expect things that you wouldn't even do yourself. If you're a guy and you don't like giving head, then please do not turn around and expect the girl to do it for you. And vice versa. The size matter. Absolutely. Don't let them people lie to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't let nobody lie to you and tell you that size does not matter. And it's not the size of the boat. It's the motion of the ocean. If you got a little bitty bum bum boat, ain't no, ain't no motion going on in the ocean. So, yeah, size does matter. I'm sorry. So, next question. Toys or no toys in the bedroom? And if so, which one is your favorite? So, this is my favorite. You cannot go wrong. Woo! Bitch, you got the vibrator. So, what I did to make my man more comfortable with a vibrator, I just pulled it out. Give me the balls. Sit him on the balls. That's that. Which, what can you say now? Because now you know how it feels. You know how it is. You, like, you, you see what I'm talking about. Like, I'm not just... Saying we should use it just to say it. Back in she goes. Next question is kind of two wrapped in one. So, have I tried anal? And how do you get used to anal? Because my ass is on fire every time. <laughs> get you a small bottle. Use the whole thing. All on your booty hole. All on your booty hole. <laughs> so, I have a try. Let me tell you. I've tried it by accident. Like, have you ever been um, having sex and then they put it in the wrong hole? That's, that's what happened to me. And from that experience, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I couldn't walk over an accident. So imagine if I purposely did. I'm not against it. I'm not against it. I'm not against it, y'all. But I'm just, I, ouch, ouch, ouch. Y'all, I don't want to leave the camera screen to go answer, look at the question verbatim. But basically, guys think everything is gay. Like, every little thing is gay. I slap your ass, that's gay. I'm blowing your butt, that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> like guys think everything is gay because they're afraid that they're gonna like some of it and i agree with that because it's i know for a fact if somebody blew in your butthole you're gonna like it gay the definition of gay is if you are a man who likes a man or you're a woman who likes a woman if a girl blows in your butthole and you like it you're not gay first of all do you you want to be pleased or no like we trying to take the level up so I agree with that and really I, I don't know if it's like I wouldn't even say I, I think I think they're scared of liking it they're scared of liking it they're scared of turning into the biggest freak of the week because you want your butthole blown blown it so now when a girl blowing your butthole now all of a sudden you want your butthole blown in every single second that's what you're scared of what do I consider a threesome so to me a threesome is three people sexing it up in a bed. Now, I know some people are very different. Like, some people have double standards. So, if it's two men and a girl that's a train, you know, I, it's just a black people thing. I can't speak for no other race. But I know how my people get down. And if it's two girls in a bed with one guy, she got a train right over. That's a hoe. If it's two girls with one guy, he's a man, he did that, like, he's that nigga, da 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 da. That's just how it goes. But to me, a threesome is a threesome. Three people having sex together. Now, I don't step into that territory. I don't step into that territory. I don't do that because that's just too many emotions. Like I know some people, some people are married and they're able to have threesomes. Personally, I don't think you should invite people into your bedroom, especially if you're married. Like that's something totally different. I'm not inviting people in my bedroom. And then lo and behold, your husband got the other girl from the threesome pregnant. Okay, so next question. Ask eating, yay or nay, and congrats on your beautiful baby boy. Thank you so much. Okay, so for this question, I always joke that I'm gonna eat a man's ass 
And I told my mama that. I, I was joking with her and I was like, you, I heard you eat butt. And she was like, oh, you ain't never know me to eat no ass. I don't eat no ass. I don't, I'm not no ass eater. So some people react like that, but I just feel like let me munch. I'm not saying that I've done it or saying I will do it. I'm just saying like, let me see. Like I'm trying to have, I'm trying to have you obsessed with me, okay? So, um, but yes, you must eat my ass. <laughs> If that that was really what the question was. I I expect it. You must. You must. You must. You must. You must. You must to stay in this house. You must. To to be in this house. You must. To take me on. You must. You hear that, baby? He got here from that. Well, actually, he wasn't eating ass then, but he is now. You must. So my last question that I'm gonna answer is: Where is a safe place for outdoor sex? in your car i find a real good low-key place but it can't be too low-key like you can't park your car by an abandoned house because why is that one car there it looks it looks suspicious so you know you got to be low-key it you know maybe a car or two will pass by but it doesn't matter you'll have your little thing up or your windows are tinted just gotta be smart. that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions for a part two, drop down in the comments below. I might turn this into a series. Like, I'm seriously thinking about it because, like, where do people go when they want to talk about sex? Like, safe sex. Sex with sex with somebody you love. First time losing your virginity. Like, where can people go because it's so taboo to talk about? I'm going to say this just as a disclaimer. Please use protection. Please wear a condom. Please be safe. Please be smart because... You don't want to die for sex or love. So, scary. Yes, it is. It's scary, okay? It's scary out here. So, wrap it up. Use a condom. Stay safe. Um, And that's really it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I like them nasty, nasty. I like them. She like a nasty. Freaky. I want to ask. Sucking that in the backseat. Swallowing them up without asking. Yeah, he put his thumb in. He put them back and I'm running. He put them and I'm pull it out and I'm on my stuff. Oh, anyway, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love you. Like this video for a part two. And yeah, that's that.